Hi everyone, it's Lucy. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you the dried version of the clock that I did. The one with the greens and gold. Um, it is dried, it's been resin, the dials are on it, so I'll show you that um, first. Then we'll get into today's video, which is going to be me varnishing um, a painting. And so I'll show you what I use and um, I did it outside for you guys. And we'll go from there, but I hope you enjoy it. And I will see you guys next week. All right. All right. So here's the clock. Nice and pretty and all done. Okay. So I am outside and I'm going to be varnishing this painting. So what I'm doing now is I'm just wiping off any dust this painting had. So this is just a paper towel, um, the smooth kind. So there's no ridges on this paper towel. Um, there is no silicone or oils in my painting and so i don't usually use any kind of dish soap or anything like that to wipe them off it's just plain water um just very damp it's damp but not soiled in water but just lightly and so i wipe any dust off the painting and i still have my um push pins in the painting you can see here you can see a blue one kind of sticking out on the bottom and I usually keep those on there until I'm done. So I'm using the Windsor & Newton um, Professional Gloss Varnish. And so that is my go-to for varnish um, if I'm using a spray. If I'm using a liquid varnish, I have the Gamvar, uh, which I did on an earlier video. And so that's what I have otherwise. And I also have um, Liquitex High Gloss Varnish that I use on smaller pieces at times. And so I have the three different ones, or three or four, depending on what I'm trying to do. Now, the bigger the piece is, that will also determine what I'm gonna be using. So for example, I have a 16, I think it was an 18 by 60 inch painting that I did. I did varnish it, but I used a spray for that one. So the bigger the piece I varnish, unless if it's a piece that I'm going to be resining, um, but otherwise, this is it here. And so I have it on a smooth surface. Again, I'm outside, so it's highly ventilated. I am wearing a mask, but you can't see it um, you know, while you're watching the video. But I do have a mask on, and I also have on my gloves. And you want to make sure that, one, your surface is smooth, it's even. I'm also going to be making sure that I do spray the sides of the painting as well. Now, for some people, you might not spray the sides because you may say, hey, I'm not going to be, um, I'm going to be framing my painting so nobody's going to see the sides, which is fine. But I like to get this painting all the way around. And so that's why you see me rotating it. Now, there was a little piece of dust that flew out onto the sides that got stuck on it. So that's what I'm trying to pick off right now. All right. Now, after I varnish the painting, you'll see, you know, the different angles. You'll see pictures of the painting as well. And I do leave it to dry um, for several hours. Now, this is in the middle of the day, and so it's sunny outside. I did leave it outside for about an hour or so because, again, the smell of the varnish is strong. And so if you're using it inside, you want to make sure that you're in a well-ventilated place. Otherwise, the fumes will definitely get you even after you take the mask out. The fumes will remain in the air for quite some time. And so that's why I did this one outside. But it'll stay outside, and then I'll bring it back inside after a few hours or so and let it continue to dry for the next um, few days. It's normally dry in about a day, but I like to give mine a little bit more time. And so here's the dried version. You can see it's nice and shiny. It's even when you're spraying on there, as long as you're doing it correctly. And I had no issues. And so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. 